Welcome again to Project with Brian. We said we'd give you an update on my uh, current project and here we are on the site ready to accept delivery of beams and blocks on Monday and fit them on Wednesday. The uh, uh, problem we had is when we laid the footings, concrete came late, rain came down, all the pins that we had for level uh, were obscured, we have to try and feel for them uh, with a rake. Net result was we ended up with a bit of a humpty bumpty footing instead of it being uh, massively level. So uh, we've been putting our blocks down uh, that the beams will rest on and uh, we are gradually going through the process of bringing them up to level. You can see here on my left, uh, the uh, I've shuttered up uh, uh, some of the initial uh, concrete blocks uh, to bring them level with the laser level. Lasers are brilliant. So from the left hand side to the right hand side uh, when uh, we've topped up and brought them level uh, the floor will be exactly level ready to receive the blocks that go on the top that then take uh, a thing called a sole plate which is what the timber frame sits on. I'll show you all of that in due course. But the short uh, task, just for the second, is we've got to fill these up uh, with concrete. Now what I'm using is sharp sand and pea shingle because it's a shallow uh, uh, filling. Pea shingle um, is stone, so that's uh, going to give us good uh, compression capability. Um, um, uh, but making it easy uh, relatively easy uh, uh, to lay. So without further ado, let's go across to the cement mixer. You've probably seen cement mixing a hundred times before. Uh, we're going to put uh, uh, one of uh, uh, cement, two of sand and two of pea shingle and then we're going to lay them in the in the troughs and you can see me do all that in a minute. Okay so here we go with the first a uh, bag of pea shingle. Right, so we've laid some concrete uh, in between our little bit of um, planking um, and now what, what we're going to do is try and smooth it out level so we're going to go roughly down it first of all make sure we've got enough in the in the hole and then we'll smooth it out in a minute looks like an elephant's been along here okay smooth the first bit out and now what I'm doing is gently tapping the side because what that does is it shakes the water to the edge and you get a neat finish when you strike the shuttering. Okay, end of the day. We've, uh, this is the finished article, ready to receive the beams. Uh, it doesn't have to be uh, like uh, Picasso, uh, it's supporting beams. Um, I think we're ready now to sign the job off and I thought uh, it might be appropriate if we went Brian And that's something for the architects in later life archaeologists to have a look or maybe not the architect maybe the archaeologists uh, when they dig it up what do you think thank you again for watching project with brian and don't forget subscribe and any comments always happy to hear them